Welcome to the Real Facts on Real Estate podcast, presented by Sean Patrick Moloney. In this series, we educate real estate agents on how to find success in the industry and grow their wealth to six-figure commissions and beyond. Now here is your host, Sean Moloney. Welcome to episode 215, Becoming a Content Creator. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me this week. This week, I wanted to talk to you about a subject that obviously you guys here, you're at my podcast, you know. I'm a content creator. I've written hundreds, maybe thousands of blogs, written over 400 podcasts. I've created tons and tons of images, graphics, designs, websites, brands, companies, logos, all these things. And so many people don't do that, and they're content consumers. It's the year 2023. How are you going to differentiate your business? How are you going to make yourself stand out? And how are you going to stay in front in this future? So in 2023, in almost every profession, industry professionals are content creating. This has now created the need as a realtor to make sure you stay in front of mind with the people because whether they're taking in your content or someone else's content, they are taking in content. So today, let's talk about it. First off, when creating content, It's easy to overwhelm yourself. It's that paralysis through analysis. It's that thought of what if I do it and it doesn't work out? It's that feeling of, oh my God, I'm spending money to make more money, I hope, instead of I know. Well, the fear of the unknown is real in all of us. But the truth is, right, one of the easiest ways to come up with what content to create is think about questions that clients actually asked you recently. People are constantly asking us questions. Sean, what happens at the appraisal? Sean, what happens at the home inspection? Sean, what happens when I have multiple offers? Or on the other side, Sean, you know, I was thinking about creating a podcast. How would I create a podcast? If you think about it, right, these questions always come up. We go and we do the work after. Now, some people think to themselves, oh, well, I don't want to be a fraud. I agree with you. No one wants to be a fraud. But a fraud isn't exactly what you think it is. Educating yourself on a topic by studying And then taking that education and reverberating it out to others is actually sharing and caring. And it's going to teach you a heck of a lot more and you're going to learn a lot more. You don't always have to have accomplished in order to be successful at teaching. Teaching is a different thing than it is to do. Coaches look about maybe NFL coach, an NBA coach, NHL coach. Do they all skate better, throw better, kick better than the people that they're coaching? Or do they understand because they study? Where someone needs to be, maybe they articulate it better, maybe they say it better, and they're a better accountability partner to the other person. So by creating content that people are telling you about, that people are asking you about, you're able to get answers to the question, further educate yourself for the future, and educate other people, which is great. Content creating has been really awesome for the world because the reality is we used to have to pay for books and pay for knowledge in every single way, shape, or form. Whereas now we have all these different content creators, just like myself, creating podcasts for free, creating blogs for free, creating newsletters that come out, creating great value in other people's lives based on things they know or things that they're willing to study and teach others about. But as an industry professional, you might be surprised how much more you know than your clients. It's funny, agents always come to me after taking the course and then they get started and they're like, well, I don't feel like I know more than the client. And this is after now they've already taken the state licensure course. They've already passed that exam. They weren't sure if they were going to pass at the beginning. So it's almost like, what are you talking about? How do you not know more? You were worried you weren't going to pass this test to get the license. You went through the school and you did that. You clearly know more than you did without it because you would have not passed that test if you hadn't taken that course. Then you went and actually got licensed. And then now you've been working at the brokerage. You've been taking training. Whether you've done a deal or not, you've taken more training than the average person. Most people, when they come to us to buy a house or sell a house, this is their first experience or their first experience in a long time with the process. They're not studying all the time. That's why these content creations help out so much because we're going to educate them on things. What is a seller's contingency? What What is a mortgage contingency? What is a home inspection contingency? What kind of options do I have in order to sell my home and buy another home at the same time? All those topics come up, but they come up in a sense of a Google search, right? They come up in a sense of a, well, I need that answer and I need it now. I'm not educated in it, so I'm going to type it in the machine. 
Well, when people type it in the machine, content creators get found. So that's where you get found as a content creator, but as a person who has no content out there, you'll never be found. The other thing is sometimes you get a question, I'll be out on the street and one of my clients will say, you know, well, what is really a uh, seller's concession? I can send them an episode of my podcast. They can listen to five, six minutes, educate themselves and feel really confident and calm about a subject that they brought up to me. So that's a really important thing to remember is that the content is right in front of you. It does not have to be complex. It doesn't take research projects. It doesn't take all these things. You certainly can. You certainly can make it complex. You can certainly cite sources if you go into like a research paper style, or you can just make it rough and tumble and give the education that you know. In content creation, there's a lot of forms of media to choose from, such as blogs, podcasts, newsletters, social media accounts. The key to remember is that you don't have to be involved in every single one of them. You have to be well involved with the ones you are involved with. Too often people go and they join, we'll just say, seven accounts. Monday they post to this one, Tuesday they post to that one, and the circle continues. That's fine and all. Don't have to post every single day or multiple times a day. It depends on what you do and what your stream is going to be and how you want it to pan out. But what ends up happening is their DMs, their PMs, their interactions, they don't get answered because they're only there once a week. They don't get those hot leads as they come in. Lots of times people think of a lead as someone who sends in, hey, my name is Sean and I live here and I'm looking for this and here's my phone number. That's the optimal lead. But if Sean makes a comment on my podcast, great episode, that might be his informal way of reaching out and creating a bond with me. Is he going to buy a house tomorrow? No. Is he going to become an agent for me tomorrow? No. But what he is, is interested. He's listening. He's engaged. He's talking. Now it's my turn to take the conversation to the next level so that when the time is right, the time is right to work with me. That's the key to content creation, everybody. Content creation is about when the time is right, the time is right with me. Keep that in your head, make it your mantra, and I guarantee you'll find more success right away. Guys, if you're looking for a brokerage that can empower you to take your real estate game to the next level, reach out to us over here at Movementum Realty. We're always growing, hiring new and existing agents. I really appreciate all the listens. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Stay tuned. We're about to put out our first ever virtual courses. Very excited about that. If you like being in study groups, reach out to me, PM me, DM me, and join our study group because you're going to get a lot of great free stuff for doing that as well. Talk to you soon.